please join us in welcoming visual storyteller and best-selling author Lola Akinmade Okerstrom. Remember what we promised ourselves when we got out of the pandemic. Remember what we promised ourselves when travel fully opens up again. That we will do better, right? We promised ourselves that we will do better, that we will be better. Why? Why did we promise ourselves those things? Why? Is it because we were about to lose it all, right? When we witnessed this amazing industry we built together, right? About to lose it. And we promised ourselves, we'll do better once we get out of this. And what does it really mean to do better anyway, right? So today, I've got three questions I want us to reflect on as we go into 2023 together, on that quest to doing better. Three questions. What stories do we want to share about our destinations and our brands? Right? What stories do we want to share? Because remember, we promised we'll do better. Hmm? What have we reprioritized on that quest? What have we reprioritized? Or are we already back to what I call Instagram tourism, right? Where we relegate our beautiful, valuable destinations as simply backdrops once more. What traditions and cultures do we value what traditions do we want to preserve and protect while importantly giving it space to evolve as we go into next year, right? Because cultures, all cultures evolve over time. Are we going to keep sharing the pleasures and the positives of our places without sharing the problems and the politics, right? Just this October, Traveler said, trust is the number one currency in travel marketing. Now, after the pandemic, trust, that's what travelers want. That's the biggest currency now in travel marketing. This was published by the Travel Trade Gazette. And why? Because our collective trauma required us to be transparent with each other. And what comes with transparency? Trust. So, the question to think about once we go next year is, how do we plan to rebuild trust with travelers as we go into 2023? Right? The second question I want to ref us to reflect on is this. Why do we want to keep telling certain stories about our destinations, our brands, our cultures, our societies, and not other stories, right? Because remember, the traveler post-pandemic wants to feel like they trust us. They want us to be transparent. Why is the cinnamon bun, prefer preferably served by, by blondes, right? the only story we want to keep telling about Sweden. Why? <laughs> this is Sweden's favorite pizza. We all love it, right? And it's yummy. Why isn't this part of our story too about Sweden in 2022, right? As we go into next year, are we going to keep talking about tradition without putting it in context of modern life? Right? Because this talk is about reimagining the stories we want to start telling as we move into next year. 
So we're going to keep talking about tradition out of context. I always think about Luca. Luca is an artist in Ravenna, Italy, and Ravenna is known for its incredible mosaics. And Luca is a modern artist preserving those mosaics, but in an innovative way, right? So are we going to keep talking about the tradition of the mosaics without also spotlighting contemporary artists, keeping them alive, those traditions alive, right? Are we in denial about the evolution of our societies, our cultures, our traditions? Hmm? Or how do we keep underestimating the travelers and what they want, right? And what they are truly seeking post-pandemic. So, you don't have to come up with the answers now. It's for us to reflect as we go into next year in our storytelling. Travelers want to trust us. That's their number one. They've told us, right? And trust requires transparency. It really does. So, one point to reflect on, how are we going to become more transparent in the stories we share of our destinations, of our brands in 2023? Right? And then the third question I want us to reflect on is this. Who do we want sharing those stories on our behalf? Right? Rather, who are we going to give space to, to share those stories? Who are the travel, the storytellers we want to embrace and we keep embracing? Hmm? Why do we keep inviting just the same voices to tell one-dimensional stories of our destinations and our brands when we are all deeply nuanced, richly multidimensional, right? Which voices do we want representing our cultures? I'm an African based in Sweden who writes with authority about Sweden. Doesn't make me quite popular, <laughs> right? So which voices do we want representing our cultures? Which internal storytellers are we willing to listen to and amplify? And what does true inclusion mean? So a friend of mine said, Lola, I want you to think of a circle. Think of a circle. Those in the middle of the circle have a limited view. Right? We're in the center. We have a limited view. We're in the center of that circle. Those on the margins, on the periphery of the circle, have a wider view, wider perspective. Now we imagine the richer, more transparent stories we could tell when we invite more perspective. Hmm? Because the marginalized, those on the periphery of that circle, are the truth bearers of our cultures. They truly are. And remember this slide, trust is the number one currency in travel marketing. Trust requires truth. It really does. Aren't all voices equal? Especially when they show and portray the places, our homes, as deeply human. And isn't that what cultural connection is all about? When we see our humanity in each other. That is it, right? When I am shown as human, I see my humanity in you, and you see yourself in me. That is all what we want to do, all right? So if there was one thing the pandemic showed us is that we all share the same basic values, to be seen, to be acknowledged, and to be valued. So in closing, why did we promise ourselves we're going to do better once we survive the pandemic? Why did we say, you know what, we're going to tell better stories when we get our industry back up when it's from its knees? It's because we went through physical 
emotional and mental trauma together across cultures. We saw and witnessed just how vulnerable and fleeting this entire industry was, right? And did we finally understand the value of what we've all built together when we were on the verge of losing it all? Hmm? So we promised ourselves we'll do better. Let's keep that promise next year. Thank you.